this this camera is not dirty, guys. <laughs> Should make you go. This right here is a disaster, guys. Meanwhile, welcome to our first vlog for 2023. But guys, guess guess what is going on here, guys? It's another construction. You know we are steadily renovating, we are steadily remodeling, remodeling, renovation, everything you can think about guys. But yeah, we started off this year with our kitchen renovations. Can you guys believe this? If you don't follow me on Instagram, of course, you are probably not going to know, but we are having our kitchen redone. I mean, it started um, two days ago. They literally had to rip all the cabinets out, the whole wall. You could see the skeleton of the wall and everything but right now they've already you know covered everything as you all can see so there's no more skeleton but honestly i just love being able to use the beginning the beginning of the year to do like if there's any reno renovation or remodel i want to do i always like to kind of do it at the be beginning of the year and get it out of the way so that way you know we are all ready to kickstart the the year but yeah for the past like two three days i've been enjoying myself serious enjoyment guys you know how it feels when you always have to figure out what to feed the family and everything but right now guys i'm on serious like i'm on serious vacation once the kids come i was just you guys on my instagram story like i'm on vacation because right now i'm nothing like cooking like look Look, look at, look at, look how this kitchen looks. Like, it's totally empty. That refrigerator is um, going. When they bring the new refrigerator, they will take this one out. So, basically, there is no stove. That's where my stove hood is um, going. And then the stove is supposed to be below it. And then cabinets and everything. Even the windows, you know. We change the windows and they are going to do the, what is it called? The trim or the... I, I don't even know. I like honestly. <laughs> I don't know the terms or the words they you know you they use for that, but this right here is like my dining table section. Everything is ripped up at like everything is ripped off, guys. And also, of course, they're doing some lighting. You know, they're gonna put a lot of recessed lights up here. So you guys know what this means, right? There is gonna be a lot of cooking this year oh i can't wait i can't wait to launch this kitchen and you know start really really like diving into or diving into more cooking you know videos our meal prep i love the fact that i'm able to give you guys like meal prep ideas and you know things like that i can't wait like i seriously cannot wait for this kitchen to be over and that also isn't easy because this made my whole house like my whole house is literally a mess we are trying to you know because of all the drilling and you know breaking things and all there is a lot of dust in the house and we've just been trying to manage just our bedroom or the kids bedroom for now but the rest of the house is literally a mess even the kids bedroom and our bedroom is a mess on its own but yeah i'm just so excited you know everything is coming along pretty nice pretty pretty nice and i believe after this kitchen that will be it guys i was also telling you guys um how you know the older you get the it's like the older you get things that used to be priority like to, to you you know begins to change i remember like maybe i would say no, oh, my, my lips is so is so chapped, guys. But yeah, I would say probably four or five years ago, if anybody would tell me that I would rather kind of fix my home than buy shoes and bags, I wouldn't have believed it to be honest with you guys. But yeah, it's like what actually gives me joy now is walking around my home and you know seeing that you know my home is looking like it's supposed to be looking you know something like that before that morning i would probably be like ah, i want to go buy shoes and bags and clothes and all those things jewelries you know by the time you get buy one cartier um bracelet that's like seven thousand dollars and things like that but yeah the older you get the more things that used to be kind of priority for you changes but yeah this kitchen i can't even wait like I can't wait guys honestly 
Good morning. Good morning, guys. A good morning. It's a Friday morning, and um, I have um, a couple of things to do today. I have some um, some photo shoots, and you know, I have few errands to run. I need to pick up the kids. I need to get to floor and decor for my um, for my countertop and my backsplash. Oh my god! Uh -huh. Then this foundation, I was just using it and realized it finished on me. I actually have one pack downstairs, like one bottle more, like a new bottle downstairs. But the Niger look at that! Look at that. Just look at guys. The Nigerian woman in me will not just throw away this bottle, even if the pump cannot pump out no more right but even after using it now i'll have to put it like this until every drop of it is out this this foundation is like 40 dollars hmm. 40 good dollars guys ah the nigerian lady this this what i just did now is so un unsanitary even what i'm doing right now because after putting it on my face i will still put it back in the bottle oh my gosh i feel horrible but I already did it guys look at all the foundation just imagine if they if if i pumped this and it didn't come out no more i just put it in the trash you know the foundation in here can serve me for probably five more looks five the nigerian woman in me will not allow me to throw away this bottle so it's still functional there's still foundation here there's still foundation here all i got me to do is instead of me to stand it up right i just bend it so that way next time when i come to do my makeup i just open this foundation will be flowing flow of fountain of foundation will be flowing so if you're the type that once your foundation finishes like the pump once it's not pumping out no more you put it in the trash well done my dear <laughs> i'm not that rich all right even, even if i'm worth 10 million tomorrow i'm still going to be doing the same thing because you can't change the i cannot change the nigerian in me you know but yeah guys i'm just um, quickly putting on my makeup <sighs> i have to kind of um, get my my schedule for the day done before i go pick up the children so i'm literally running i have to go for this photo shoot go pick them up go to fly and record <laughs> guys before i forget so i wanted to talk to you guys about what is going on with this space called youtube or some people call it youtube <laughs> so guys um if you guys noticed um towards the end of last year i would say probably november around october november december i started taking reels seriously <laughs> and uh, I've always been that type of person that is always laid back, right? Especially with this app, this um, you know, social media apps. When they introduce new things, I'm always like the last person, one like the few last people to get on the bandwagon with the thing. So when YouTube announced they were coming out with shorts, I never really kind of took it seriously. But one thing I've noticed with all these social media platform, uh, platforms is whenever they introduce a new app or a new feature on their app, the first few people that jumps on it is like it like skyrockets, you know, their page or their channel or whatever it is. So I never like knew the gist of the whole thing until recently where I heard that YouTube is actually losing a lot of market share because of TikTok. You guys know TikTok came in probably two, three years ago, right? People didn't really take um, TikTok seriously. Of course, you guys know one of the one of the other news people make money on this, you know, social media thing is through um, ads, you know, YouTube AdSense. So if you're a content creator, you know, and you're monetized, you should notice that youtube lost a lot of market share last year there like there wasn't much ad last year and that was because of tiktok so that's also another thing youtube is a multi multi 
billion dollar company, right? But you guys know these people, they are never satisfied. It's always something new, something new. So when YouTube discovered that TikTok took their market share, they introduced them YouTube Shorts. So basically, when they introduced the YouTube Shorts, they literally told influencers that if you're not working on YouTube Shorts, like nobody, like they're not going to push your channel or anything. And then when you look at people that are actually posting the shots, you will see their channels are like boom, 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 you know, their channels are booming. I'm actually a testament of that because usually my channel probably grows maybe a thousand followers every two weeks or something. But when I started making reels, it's like in a few days, I'm already like 50, maybe let's say 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, like in a few days. So YouTube um, shots is the main thing now and YouTube themselves they are not pushing the long form content no more because of the fact that you guys know um, TikTok is a long form short form content you guys know YouTube is like this like how you guys are watching me is like this but Instagram is always like this and TikTok is like this that's is like this that's why they introduce them YouTube shots so now the problem I'm having is a lot of people be telling me, oh, even though, even during the holiday, even throughout this month, I've been posting shots, but people always send me a message, oh my God, we are missing you on YouTube. I'm like, what is going on here? Is it that you guys don't like shots? Because there's no how you guys can tell me you're, like, you're not seeing my uploads because I upload shots every single day, like every single day. So for me to be getting comments like, oh my God, we're missing you, we're not you're not uploading it's like you guys are talking about the long form content but youtube right now is not promoting long form content and that also draws me to um vlogs right i know you guys love my vlogs because that is where i get a chance to kind of show my personality you know show you guys who amada really is but let's be let's be honest vlogs don't grow channels that's why I don't understand how channels that are more focused on on, blog, on vlogs. If you notice, you know, their growth is not really that much. Big, like, it's not really that high because, like, YouTube is, is um, structured off of SEO, like search words and things like that. How to, how to cook, how to this, how to that. So, but with vlogs, vlogs is usually like random titles, like... I, I actually don't even know what I'm tightening this vlog. So it's not like keywords. There's always no key not no keywords in vlogs and things like that. So vlogs don't really grow people. To be honest, to be honest, guys, I do vlogs just for you guys because I know you guys enjoy it. You know, but if I'm if you're to leave it up to me, I will even be doing vlogs because vlogs don't you know it don't grow people. It just kind of makes people like see your personality, your lifestyle, but in terms of growth, of, of course people are going to follow, people that maybe resonate with your lifestyle, you know, with your vlogs, they will follow, but it's not going to be like a lot of people, you understand? So that is the thing right now, so uh, um, Shorts is the new YouTube right now, so guys, if you if you don't know about shorts, you definitely have to get on shorts. If you're a content creator and you know you don't know about shorts, and the crazy thing is, they said YouTube you, shorts is not actually monetized. But from next month, which is uh, February, they said as from February first this year, 2023, they are going to start monetizing shorts. So if you didn't get on shorts now, it's going to be difficult because a lot of people are going to be rushed like. You will see people that usually don't create shots, they will start creating shots now and they will take it more seriously because now, you know, it's going to be monetized in like a few days. Today is what? The 30th or something or the 29th. So in like two days, three days, shots will be monetized. So you're going to see a lot of people and you know once there's a lot of like traffic, right? YouTube will, will stop pushing shots like they are doing it now. Like shots, I literally... As of last year, October, I was in 500, 550,000 subscribers. So within November, December, this is January, within three months, I added almost 60,000 because I'm, I believe I'm 615 now. So I added almost like 
50, yeah, 60, 65,000 followers just because I took shots very, very seriously. Like I said, I load shots every single day, guys. And also, long form content, guys, it's not easy. And of course, as a human being, when you're filming or when you're working and you're not getting like the maximum turn around from whatever you're doing you're not you know you're not going to be happy it's just like the long form content long form content takes a lot of time to film it takes a lot of time to edit and it takes a lot of time to you have to do voiceover and things like that but with shots you just i might probably be cleaning this bathroom right i clean this sink i just take a clip from cleaning the sink i clean the toilet i take a clip and then by the time you join it together it's probably like 30 seconds it's fast it's easy to edit on like the, sh the long form content so as a content creator shots are actually also even though like shots grow grow people right now and also it's so much easier to film than um, long form content but of course i told myself i'm not gonna leave long form content right i'm still gonna maintain my thursday sundays upload for long long form content but i'm just trying to explain to you guys that short is what you know if you wish me well and if you want me to grow just please engage with me with my shorts because shorts is the new youtube right now like long form content youtube don't push them no more so please 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 guys please my shots are actually doing so so good like when i look shots i have a million plus three million um views on my shots you find that it it's it kind of you know it um i believe because of the fact that people's uh, attention span is so short so the shot works because like people just watch it watch it watch it what you understand what i'm saying so right now guys youtube short is the new youtube so please guys bear with me when you see my short know that one thing also with this social media is you always have to move around you have to work with the algorithm because if you don't work with the algorithm algorithm is they are going to leave you behind and when this is like you guys already know that this year makes maximum 10 years since i started this i started this immediately after i had the children i started my youtube channel april 12th 2013 so it's like it's almost 10 years guys so i started this as a hobby but right now just imagine something you you've done for 10 years i know no hobby no more it's it gotta yield for you because if i was 15 as of 2013 put it 10 years i'm 25 you know think about it if i was 30 2013 um, put it 10 years i'm 45 if i was 50 put it 10 years i'm 65 you understand what i'm saying so that is the thing my dear i just said um let me brief you guys on this look at me i said but about 10 minutes i'm done with this makeup but look at me i'm here talking and talking and talking but yeah guys you know shorts is um is where is is where is at right now so please if you are a content creator and um you want the speed growth like you want to see growth you know on your channel definitely jump on shorts i believe it's even though it seemed you know late but never but nothing is ever late so jump on it jump on it short is what is growing people at the moment Guys, this weather, this weather is not joking at all, at all, at all, at all. But you know what? I was telling Hobby that I can't even complain because um, it hasn't been like a brutal, brutal, like brutal winter. Ah, Jesus, I, I would say that the longest, like the coldest winter we've had so far was um, December 24th. Hi, that day, I forgot to get everything for my Christmas um cooking so i had to go around 12 to the supermarket and, and to the supermarket and i almost froze like it was so cold that day but apart from that it's been kind of i would say it's been a fair winter you know it hasn't been like brutally cold no but i'm here i came to pick up the children I came to pick up the twins let me get them oh my gosh they are not out yet um 
Yeah, they are not out. Yeah, they are not out yet. I have to. I have to wait for them to come out. Whoo, whoo, whoo. This cold, though. Cold is not a joke. Hi, babies. Careful. Yeah, I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. What's up? How was school? Say bye. Bye. Doctor bye. Today. Doctor, are you serious? Yes. Aww, how was she doing? She was fine. Oh. Wow. Yeah, she's probably more relaxed now. So, yes. you know, her oh, the age. Happened today. Yeah. Your classmate? Yes. Oh, He's oh. A, a person who brags about his achievements. <laughs> so, he was bragging about his trophy. Like, oh, but then he says that he won the national style would be like against the eighth graders. You know? Mm -hmm. And then he came bragging. I didn't believe it. And I will never believe that he won against the eighth graders. Mm. Like, he only studied for one week. <laughs> I, I can't believe that. Uh, yeah, no way to study for like a month. Uh -huh. No way. And I'm you going study to for a week. There's, there's no way. Uh -huh. No way. I'm gonna believe that. I he, already he know must God's making it. a special play for that boy. It. Jeez, it's cold. God, God's making it. Is it me? Is it me or it's cold? It is it's cold. cold. <gasps> oh, wait, do you got my cake? Okay. Get in. You fell? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, it's not leveled. Sorry, mommy. I hope you didn't you didn't bruise your go in, go in, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hey, hey. Hey guys, so we are here. Oh, we are here at Flood Deco guys. Um I'm looking at things. Um I don't know. I'm trying to AC wait. This chair is giving me a run for my money. I'm looking at the, you know, I'm looking for countertop and um, backsplash. Oh, this looks so cute. That is beautiful. This is really, really cute. The problem I have is, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. This, um, I forgot that I have my um, my phone, my phone cover on. So it usually makes that, wait, 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 wait. you know, this, that squishy noise, and it's so annoying. Let me try and take it out. Wait, guys. Hi, guys. So I decided to stop at at home stores. Oh, this looks really nice. I love it. Wow, forty dollars. Can you guys imagine? I don't know why at home stores is like unnecessarily like it's unnecessarily expensive. I mean, forty dollars for that? They are joking. Definitely joking. I just came to look around to see what they have for Valentine's Day. They have some cute things though. Look at that. They have the frame. Mm. Oh, the cups are so cute. I'll probably get one. See, seven dollars. If you saw something like this in Burlington, it's probably one ninety nine or two ninety nine. I beg you, Jerry. It's January. <laughs> people, people finish chopping, chopping. People finish chopping their money during Christmas, and then January, everybody's like, "What's going on?" <laughs> when it's time to spend, everybody's looking at each other. I beg you. These people are not serious at all. Let me look around and see if I can. Oh, my whole face is oily, guys. I need to blot. Oh, this is oily. 